Hey guys, you're welcome to another episode of Accelerate News. My name is Biodun and this is the show where you get your weekly dose of the entertainment wrap-up. So stay tuned because the news starts right now. Manchester United claimed their second major trophy of the season and secured a slot in next season's Champions League football as they overcame Ajax to win the Europa League final in Stockholm. Now on an emotional night following the Manchester attack which killed 22 people at Ari Ariana Grande's concert on Monday, United's fans were allowed a measure of celebration as Jose Mourinho's side won in comfort. Now, the players took time out of the game to pay tribute to the victims of the attack. Our hearts go out to the families of the deceased. Now, this win means the Red Devils are now the fifth team to claim the full quota of the European trophies, joining an illustrious Ajax, Chelsea, Juventus and Bayern Munich. Chelsea's Premier League victory parade slated for Sunday has been cancelled in the wake of the Manchester terror attack that claimed 22 lives and injured 72 others. A statement from the team reads, everyone associated with the Chelsea Football Club offers our heartfelt condolences to those affected by Monday's terror attack in Manchester. Our thoughts go out to all the victims and their families and friends. In light of these tragic events, we feel it's inappropriate to go ahead with the victory parade in London on Sunday. Meanwhile, Chelsea is set to take on Arsenal at Wembley in three days. All the best to Chelsea Football Club. Arguably the biggest indigenous rapper on the Nigerian music scene, Olamide follows up his last month's single, Love No Go Die, with this new one, Wavy Level, making it his second release this year. The track was produced by Ade while mixed and mastered by B Banks. I was sliding through my Instagram feed on Tuesday and I saw a photo of what looked like Frank Ocean looking a little different and then it occurred to me it was Olamide with this new hairstyle and I was just like, what was, what, what was he going for? But anyway, listen to the song on YouTube and let us know what your thoughts are about this Olamide's trendy wavy level new look. So word is going around that the band may be expecting or has delivered a baby with his alleged wife Didi Kilgrove. The singer is said to have held a secret wedding with the pretty Cocolet in Lagos and Abuja back in July 2016 and may now have a child. So we're just wondering, will Coco Master now be called the Coco Pops or the baby will be called a Coco Baby? <laughs> you tell us in the comment section of our post below. One of Nollywood's most highly anticipated movies of 2017, Isher Ken, premiered recently in London and will start showing in cinemas in the UK from the 26th of May. Actors such as Funke Akindele Belo, Dakore Akonde, and Timini Egbuson were present for the showing. Now, you guys should let us know if you have seen it already and let us know what you think about this highly anticipated Nollywood flick. And that's it for today on Accelerate News. Make sure you head on over to our website to catch the latest episode of Kemi Adetiba's King Women. Now, this episode is a very special one as we have the lady who started a moi moi business with just 1,000 naira and grew to become the person who served Michelle Obama the distinguished delicacy. Now, also make sure you watch out for the 15 participants of the Accelerate Filmmaker Project who will be unveiled and go into mentorship to produce their own movie would we'll see you on monday high five everybody